Hello and welcome to this how-to video from the Blue Prism University. My name is Leona Vanderhoof and this is a short how-to video where we're going to look at how to view, run and monitor schedules in the Blue Prism version 7 browser-based control room. In this session, we're going to summarize the features of the new browser-based control room. We're going to look at the navigation and also we're going to locate where to view, run and monitor, also retire and unretire schedules. Let's start by launching the hub. You will land on the dashboard page. This would be where you may have some kind of key metrics visualized. It could be your digital worker health, any failed sessions or details around errors. Please refer to the Blue Prism University for more information on configuring your dashboard. Down the left hand side is the navigation pane. Currently we are seeing just icons, but I can expand the pane in order to see the full description and collapse it back up again. Let's briefly visit my settings page by clicking the icon next to your login name. And as you can see, here are some configuration options for your instance of the hub. I'm going to click on the profile option to see my user's details. Should I wish to make any changes, I will first need to put the page into edit mode from the top right. I will then make a change. In this instance, I'm changing the theme to a dark theme. And once I have made my amendments, I'll click save again from the top right. Please refer to the Blue Prism University for more information about each of these options. Now let's go and have a look at the control room. And we see here every icon that represents some form of management of your Blue Prism environment. You will still need to access the Blue Prism client to create many things, but from this hub you can view and instigate any action across the BP resources. This session is about schedules and tasks, so let's go take a look in there. Within the schedule activity page, you will see a grid listing all the recent activity. You have the options as to how you can view your schedules, with the edit view to elect what you want to see. We can filter on particular values. We can save the view or any changes to the view. And load view is where we can access our previously saved view. You can use the top right close draw button to collapse these options. To look at a particular detail for a schedule or an activity, I need to access the schedule page. You can either go directly to a particular schedule by clicking on the schedule name hyperlink in the activity grid or via the schedules icon as we are here. Remember, this is view only. If you need to create some new schedules, we will still need to do this within the Blue Prism local client control room. On the left hand side of the schedule screen, you will see the schedule cards. We currently only have two in this environment, but in reality you'd have many more. And you can use this filter to search for a particular schedule. Each schedule card, you will be able to view the details of the time schedule and the frequency and the number of tasks that will run. Across the bottom of the card, we have a run now option. And this will run the scheduled tasks without having to wait for the schedule time to occur. The refresh button is for this screen, typically used when you are watching for a status change on screen. The menu button here is where you can retire the schedule and view the associated tasks. I'm going to now return to the schedule activities screen and select the new order schedule. And this will take me directly into the new orders schedule card in the schedule screen. I'm going to select from the additional menu options and retire. And now my retired schedules are filtered out unless I elect to view the retired schedules here. To reverse this action, just reverse the steps as we've just previously done. So what have we learned? Hopefully we've gained some familiarity with navigating within the browser-based control room. 
where you're to find your schedules and their details, and how to retire and unretire your schedules. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to learn more about Blue Prism Hub or any other Blue Prism feature or product, please visit the Blue Prism University via the link in the description below. Visit the Blue Prism University community to get support from other members and participate in various discussions via the link again in the description below.